Welcome back, basketball fans. Welcome back. So in this game, we're in stop five. Tunisia versus Kenya. This game, Tunisia won by one point. This game ended 10-9. And the FIBA stream was so flaky. So it was... For the like the final like two minutes so was just a bit off, but we'll just cover like what we have seen, what we'll see in the like the eight minutes mar eight minutes that we have right, have with us right now. So now you're seeing the team introductions. Team Kenya, this team has been sensational with the addition of Margaret in there. She hasn't played that much, but the moments that she got into the floor she was able to like be very productive and let me just freeze the frame here right here real quick this is so this is the squad that played in the Hamamet games and they were very sensational and right now they are in they're going to play against tunisia so i was very happy when i saw this matchup because i knew that you're going to be in for a very good game and tunisia heavy team a team that has caused us some quite some problems when we are when we are facing them and i knew for a fact we're just going to bring our best foot forward through this whole nations league with kenya the the women's team has had their battles with them even in the previous videos i've covered and they it has it has just produced this the, these two teams have produced the best basketball games here so especially for the women's but the team that we're rooting for here is team kenya because man they have been competing heavy with tunisia and egypt tunisia and egypt they, they were the teams to beat in the women's in the women's division i uh, i'm not even paying too much attention to morocco or Al Al algeria because they didn't produce anything that was going to stop any anything that kenya was going to pick up so you can see kenya no team has been able to score in the first like first like maybe 40 <laughs> 40 seconds but of course this game was very low scoring and it was a game that was played more uh, more like it was more mental than physical because you could see every shot that Kenya was taking it was just contested and we were not able to if we weren't even able to like pick up our spots easily but the game the the way like both teams Kenya and Tunisia were just setting up it was just a real it was just like a replay of what we saw in Hammamet in the Hammamet games of course they've had like it's like they've had like some issue with the way we've been playing and they wanted to like erase like memories of what happened in the Hammamet games because we put our foot down on them and every time we've matched up against them in these uh in the FIBA in this FIBA 3x3 national league they have tried trying to they have just tried to like erase like what they experienced in that time and Kenya of course you're not gonna back down to anybody and the women have played pretty well so it was it was just an onslaught and i had fun just watching this despite you know the stream hitches that were just plaguing were just plaguing us but it is what it is just have to make for good content and good content it is that we got and you can see there's so much turnovers kenya being forced like contested shots tunisia just trying to find you know their footing in there kenya has possession Lisa has been sensational. Medina and Marianne, just when they are just in there, it just becomes a lot easier. And when Margaret just changes up, you're seeing like more production is coming in. So every any squad that we roll with, with uh, those four, and if you add like Ashley in there, it's quite easy to be able to like deal with. So you can see Medina, she's just she's just been our go-to player especially down low she has been able to like finish up some shots she's been able to uh, be that player that is so reliable especially in there but sometimes she she can be off or on but when she's on those assists when they connect it just becomes easier kenya has fouled one time so this game is 1-1 one, one. this game was it was just it was just difficult a bit it was just a mental chess match i feel like it was just mostly chess 
see Medina trying to go in there. Tunisia just doing a good job just removing that ability to be able to like drive in the post. I like this angle, like the <laughs> this camera angle is just awesome. And just to throw it in there. And you're seeing Medina and Medina and also Marianne and also like you can see Margaret who's in there. They're just being blocked like from operating in the post. The defense of Tunisia was just designed. They just they have just read our plays and this is what we were using to beat them in the previous games. And they were just and they right now as you can see they're just taking that away and they're trying to like diversify. They're trying to like make sure to like take that away and also limit our shots and make us force us to take tough shots. And that was just the story of like the e that evening. And despite that you could see Medina was able to score. Tunisia Tunisia uh were up two points but now they're just up one and their shots even despite like the strong defense that they are setting up for us they were not able to knock down their shots offensively on their side their defense was good on us but uh, their offense still wasn't the greatest and that's why the game ended with uh, like a low scoring it was a low scoring game there but you could see they're finishing their layups our defense sometimes it's just a bit questionable we have had like a bit of you know predictable plays like that assist that you have seen there uh, from Mary Lisa Mary Lisa to Medina like that uh, that like connection like that assist especially when the ball has been taken out uh, just finding out the mismatch before like the defense sets in has proven to be very effective and has just been our go-to move to like you know get in create some instant offense but you can see like that short creation from like the Tunisian side, their guards are able to like go in and able to able to go in on us and lay us up at the rim and our defense sometimes is just being put to question and we are not even creating from our guards that much. We are seeing a situation where our guards are just passing that ball up to the post and majority of our shots are just being manufactured inside and not outside. And if a situation arises where like uh, the way it arised in Egypt when I saw the game against Kenya versus Egypt I saw the ball was being you know the ball the Egyptian Egyptian team like they were just hitting the two pointers the three the beyond the arc so it was just difficult for us to like curb that if we just continue to like score inside and we're not able to like break even on those that's one thing that I saw that was just taking us apart but can see we are in it and both teams are tied at four points apiece and Tunisia nice footwork and they make that basket you know it's now five points Tunisia four Kenya and six twenty seven left in the game and I was I've watched like I've watched like a couple of Kenya versus Tunisia games even if I've reacted to them on this channel it, the games at some point they just become much more physical as time progresses you can see Medina she's been taken apart in there and she's not been able to make more knock that and also that corner three from Tunisia still wasn't sinking and you can see Lisa she's manufacturing inside and she's been able to like hit that layup off the glass and ties it up at five points apiece and Tunisia still struggling despite the solid defense still struggling to do that you can see that Every single time you're seeing that assist from Marilisa to Medina immediately in, in, in the possessions, she's looking to that give that assist away. Even right now, even like in that, even in that possession, something that she would have tried to like lay it up because the defense wasn't hadn't set in easily. She's just giving that up immediately. So sometimes I just question like her decision making down the stretch sometimes you just have to like take that shot you don't have to like keep assisting every single time you can at least go in and try to make that shot if you've gone in and you've seen an open lane just go in and take it don't like look for like that extra pass that much because you don't have the leverage to do that what if like you don't have a chance where you're able to get ba that ball back up so yeah just take that shot she she took that shot but she would have just handed it off to like 
Mary, no, to Marianne. You could see Marianne had just opened up easily. She would have just faked that and just dipped that ball inside there, because Marianne wouldn't have been able. To, Marianne would have been able to like score, and these defenders would not have been able to like close that out. But she settled in for the shot. So cause some decisions, some decisions that are being made are just like they're just uh, quite quite interesting to see. And you can see that layup, Tunisia trying to keep afloat. And this game has just been quite difficult. And both teams, they're trying to manufacture their shots. Then nothing is falling easily. You can see a foul has been drawn. And Tunisia still up in one point. And one thing that I've seen, it's like that um, overall situational awareness that I've not seen that is great from Kenya. Because if we... If we had taken note of like how how to like you know switch, make sure to you know make the right play, we would have seen like a lot of possessions would have been converted, and we wouldn't have been having like issues. You can see that's a turnover. Margaret she turned over the ball. She got passed to it, and it's just and this lineup is just funny. Why is it that Mary Lisa is on the bench and we're having like three forwards in the game? And that's why you could see that turnover from Margaret. She was not able to like contain that basketball. You're forcing players out of their position, and it leads to such situations. You're finding there's there's a lot of like um, there's a lot of like confusion because no one is like the no one has that role as a primary ball handler. So I don't know what they were trying here. Majority of the time, I would have suggested you keep Mary Lisa on the floor and make sure. And make sure to at least, and make sure to at least have, at least rotate on the front, or rotate like on the forwards. But if you take, if you take like that guard away, and have like three forwards, and it becomes difficult. And you can see, Margaret checks out, Mary Lisa checks in. She spotted this thing early, so it wasn't advisable. I don't know at this point why the. <laughs> Why would they, why would they would they do this and man it was just tough and then free throws hopefully the 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 main like thing that I was looking at was like us knocking down them free throws because we were very atrocious at that and that thing really like set us back a lot and sometimes I just ask myself why is it that we can't be able to like consistently like make make that shot and if you can't make that shot consistently it just takes us apart slowly and those are the types of shots that you need to take so that you can get get the game close if we had we would have even forced an overtime you can see tunisia they're up two they have made that tough layup that's a steal you see like it's just questionable sometimes Number 13 rises up for the shot, misses it, gets her own rebound. And number 12, the quick layup and scores it. So it's it's it's, it's quite funny. I I honestly ask myself a lot of questions like why is it that we can't like you know find a way to be able to like get to like manufacture like good shots? We, we, it, it's it's just, just it's just funny. And that's a, that's a turnover, and that you can see the quick and instant offense that Tunisia have, and they have like reliable options in there. Kenya, we're just trying to. It's like we're it's like we don't have like a good structure going into like that game. I don't know why the coaching staff do if they really audit these games because man, this sometimes you just sometimes you 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 can think that you can just go ahead and wing it. And some and it works, but sometimes you can try winging it and it doesn't work. And I've seen a lot of uh, wing. I've seen a lot of like plays that I don't want to say like we we're like <laughs> doing a lot of guesswork in there. But I'm saying we don't have like a lot of structure going in there. You can see Mary Lisa. She's thinking about taking the shot. Man, with the uncomfortable step back. I don't know. They're just trying to get that first attempt. Then they just get the rebound, so there's no trust in like those first attempt shots. But Tunisia, even despite like the, even despite like the hefty defense there, still Tunisia are just fighting and just trying to you know get their revenge on Kenya because we covered a video where Tunisia lost to Kenya by four points and they, 
and they were not happy with that so changing that changing that situation and just getting back on the win column with Kenya with reference to the previous game is what they wanted to do in this game and they actually they did because this game was say just just quite like quite the quite the slowest game Mary Lisa the ball is still in Kenya's possession and still trying to find a way to like you know cut that deficit because at this point it it, it was just um, it was just a mute point at this point there's no like sometimes you just ask if these players even with this given like the skill that they have do they have any creativity that can accompany it because you need you need not only be a skilled player but also a creative person who knows what is your go-to skill you see Tunisia just setting up number four just trying to pick Medina off the dribble Medina is doing a good job moving and also blocking that shot and that's actually a solid defensive play and to get back that possession but you can see that ball is just thrown away out of all that effort that Medina has has made the only thing that she's thinking about is just like taking that ball just just get the ball out and just passing it back you're not like trusting like your you're not trusting like your instincts and and just you know trying to gather your thoughts when you're you know doing that i'm not saying that you like take a lot of time like when you're doing that but at least have some good communication with the player i can just see like medina was looking like frustrated in there because i mean that's just a how that has hopefully just to cause a turnover and just bring that possession back to tunisia before lining up the shot and she scores it 10 10 points for tunisia tunisia just were just on a roll they've scored like three they've scored like three points straight and they've also been able to score like that two point and you can see there's a there's such, such a set situation in there i mean in the two minute mark man it's it, it was just tough it was just tough and she was and she was their reliable go to score and go to option in the game so i mean i've seen there's a there was a tunisian player who rolled her ankle and she was taken out of the game and in and, and also like it was in the same game that that kenya won you saw uh it, it was it was also a grueling game but if you look at also this one you can see it's a tough game and you, you know it's a tough game when a player just gets injured in there so kenya we have the ball still trying to manufacture our offense man that ball just rimmed out like that shot man was supposed to go in just to like you know add that two points and tunisia were just on brick city mode no shot was falling even on the even on team kenya our shot wasn't falling and it, it, it was it was just um it was just a crazy thing and at this point when when i was just just paying attention to this game and just watching the film this was the point where like fiba just did that thing where <laughs> the stream just got botched in in the two minute in the two minute mark and unfortunately after this point we we're not able to see anything from the game live and the game just halted at that point so this game ended 10 9 tunisia were held to like 10 points straight they lost their leading scores from that small like freak freak injury in her face and kenya were able to score four points and despite like the stream lagging still we were able to like um see the end result of the game tunisia 10 kenya 9 so it is what it is i don't know why fiba streams had some issues in the remain when the when the games really mattered and the, when the games really counted to watch i'm not sure what happened in there but it is what it is so if you guys like the video make sure you leave your feedback down in the comments despite the loss we still competed heavy and we went on and we didn't know we went on to win it all and it was a good performance from our team at least tunisia knew for a fact we are not a team that just going to lay down there and like take it so yeah i mean fiba their stream just needs a lot of work because man it was 
it, it was just so like i just felt so sad because this stream and this game was so important i just really wanted to watch and see like what would happen after the like the changes that occurred in the other games so in case i'm able to like trace and be able to like get the final two minutes uh when i do some digging i will be sure to post it so until then if you guys like the video make sure to leave your feedback down in the comments on what you think and um i'm out peace